What is up? It has been like a week since we put out a video. We're actually doing stuff today, so we figured we'd make a video today about some of the stuff that we got going on. I don't know why I said that twice. Anyways, something that Haley and I kind of do on the side, um, it's actually more of like Haley's thing, but I just help her with it uh, to make some extra money, is we do like real estate photography. So literally taking pictures of a house. We take the drone up, take some aerial shots. We have like a a realtor that basically comes to us whenever they have a listing and we take their pictures and whatever yeah so we'll, we'll take you kind of through the process of that later in the day but right now she's gonna go take are you taking pictures of posh stuff yes Haley's gonna go take pictures for her Poshmark again link for that is always gonna be in the description down below so check that out some cool a lot a lot a lot of clothes just went up she's like 120 listings now or something nuts so go check that out um, but I also have to do some some calls I also just got these AirPods, and they're like really, really cool. Um, you can make phone calls on them, listen to music, all the, the normal stuff you can do with headphones, but they're just like super convenient, and they come in this case, which charges them, and and you just kind of feel cool wearing them. They also look kind of stupid, but they, you feel cool. I don't know. Hi, um, I was actually calling to see if I could speak with um, this got done making a bunch of uh, client calls, basically asking them if they want to have meetings, asking them if they're interested in uh, partnering with us and following up on other partnerships that we already in discussions. Basically like a ton of client calls, that's that's all, all it was. One of the things that I'll say about calling and getting people, this, this is more only if you're doing like a business to business type of uh, company, but something that's really important is that you have referrals from one company to another. So. Don't throw up, please. Oh my God. Um, anyway, so it's very important that you have referrals. So we, we deal with universities um, and they're very, very, very hard to get into because they have so many people contacting them all day, every day about their products. Um, so you have to find a way to stand out from those other people. And one of the best ways to do that is have a referral. So the way that we did it was we have a really good relationship with the the uh, staff and faculty at our university that we went to. So we basically had a, developed a really great relationship with the VP of Student Affairs, and then we had him basically refer us to four other universities. So now we stand out more than just any other vendor because we have a personal in, like a personal referral from somebody who actually matters at another university, a respected a respected individual. So we're not just a nobody. But on that super businessy note. I'm actually going to go downstairs and check out what Haley is doing. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Lou oh. threw up. Oh God. She came to the door. So if you guys haven't seen it, if you don't follow us on Snapchat or Instagram or anything like that, this is Haley's posh setup. It's kind of nuts. Um, so this is all that stuff you need to take pictures of still, right? Or is that no, done? No, I took pictures of that. This is my picture pile. So that's done. These are done. And these still need to be done. But this is kind of her setup for her posh. Um, it's not very organized. It's not, but it's, in, it's insane. So again, check out her posh in the description. Tons and tons and tons of clothes. A lot of brand name stuff. A lot of awesome stuff that came from our closets. And now they're on sale. Hi, dude. I said one, two, three. I'd like to place an order for pickup. Can I just get uh, two chicken finger pitas? Going to get lunch after Haley. Are you applying for a job? She's applying for a job. Okay, so listen to this. Do you want to tell your, your story? So there's this job that I want to apply for, and I was reading through the description, and it said um, you need to have a good attention, you, what did it say? A good attention to detail. Yeah, you need to have a good attention to detail. Um, when you apply, write, should I say the actual word? Yeah. Okay, when you apply, put armadillo in your resume somewhere. And I thought that was super smart because it shows like, 
instead of just saying, oh yeah, good attention to detail, it shows you actually have it because you read through the job description and you saw that little part and you put it in your resume. So I'm actually even more excited to apply for the job because they said that because I just think it's kind of cool. So who knows if I'll get it, but I, I found that interesting. I think he did too. And you know, I don't think he would have caught it because he doesn't like read like normal people, like read every word. He like skims and can like process kind of what it means. So I wonder if you would have caught that. No, probably not. I would have read the first word where it said like, uh, I, actually I probably would have just saw the words uh, or attention and detail and I probably would have just assumed what it said. I, I would like have read the whole sentence. On an awesome note, I, um, I do have an official job down in Austin so Woo! we can actually move down there and, and live and have at least some money coming in to pay for rent and, and livable or like to, to live to live there, that's, that's it, to survive. So someone in this car forgot his remote to the drone. So now we need to go back to his house to get it. But first we need to get food. And you went the wrong way for food. No, it's this way. Oh yeah, you're good. But we still have to go to his house and scarf it down because the house we're taking pictures of is 40 minutes away. Yep. So. We're always rushing around. So just like any successful road trip that Brian and I take together, we each got our Baja Blasts, which are now in stores. So go get yourself some, you won't regret it. Uh, it saves us from having to go to Taco Bell, the drive through every single time, but we still normally do that actually. We're not sponsored. This isn't this isn't Haley getting paid to say this. No, it's she not. I just I love Baja Blasts. Like I drink these like most people drink coffee. I love Baja Blasts. Although if you guys want to sponsor us. Awesome. I appreciate you coming all the way out. Oh yeah, no problem. It's actually not too far from Brian's. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Yep. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. Congrats again. Thank you. Thanks. So this is the house that we just took pictures of. I don't really have like much footage of it, just because we were using the because camera. we were literally using the camera for pictures, so we couldn't really do anything. But that's pretty much what we do. We go here, we take pictures, we take pictures with the drone. Um, fun fact: if you have a drone you make a lot more money doing real estate photography. So if you're doing it, it's worth getting a drone because the extra money you make can make up for the drone in just a couple of shoots. Man, it is bright. Yeah. Yeah. We are splitting up for the rest of the day. Haley is going to work. I'm gonna play Fortnite all day. You got this. She's trying to back out over here. Yep, now you're sighted. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. What is, you just ran into that bush. Come on. Oh my god! Oh. oh, she's probably so mad that I recorded that. So here's where I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now. <clears throat> I have my channel and then we have ha like the Haley and Brian channel. I don't really know what to do with my channel right now. So what I'm thinking, <clears throat> and, and I don't know if this is gonna work or if this is what it's actually gonna, if it's actually gonna become, I want to make the Brian Carrigate channel more focused about entrepreneurship and startups. So the Brian and Haley channel is already pretty focused around those things. Um, we do that pretty much in every vlog. We're doing something business related or startup related or something like that. So I'm not, I don't want to take away from the stuff we're already doing on this channel. Um, more so, I just want to, I want to talk more specific about things. So I think that's what that channel is gonna become. I'm still working out the specifics on how to do that in a fun way without making it a boring like tutorial channel. Anyways, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, uh, yeah, let me know down below what you think of the channel and uh, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't I can't exit yet because my hand is on the steering wheel. Alright, peace. Right